Hey little guys, my name is Vaneka and welcome to my free to play Obor beginner guide. This guide is meant for people that have never killed Ober before and want to make sure they kill him on their first try. And this could be important because if you are a hardcore Iron Man, like I am, one mistake could be the end, so you simply don't want to die. Let me first talk about Obor himself. Obor is a level 106 monster with 120 HP that attacks with both range, a max hit 26, and melee, max hit 22. You can access his lair after obtaining a giant key which is dropped by regular hill giants and one key equals one kill, so keep in mind that you can't kill Obor whenever you want. So let's now talk about the drops a little bit because Obor has some nice drops but in this video I wanted to highlight just a few, for example the hill giant club or the rune kite shield. Now if you're not an iron man you really want to go for the hill giant club to make yourself some money because it's worth 650k and that is not too bad in my opinion. Um, if you are an iron man though the rune kite shield will be your best drop. And why is this? Because it's the best in slot shield in free to play and it's the only way to obtain it. Or you need 97 smithing but uh, I wish you good luck with that. Also not to forget is that Obar always drops a beginner clue scroll unless you already have one. Now I personally really like it, but if you're not much of a clue person then I understand that too. Now if this is really the first time you want to try to kill Obor, I would recommend you to kill him with magic. Later on this is not the best way to kill him, but it's very easy to learn and it will increase your chance of survival. Alright, so here are the stats I would recommend, and first of all 59 magic. It is important to deal as much damage as possible, so Fire Blast will be your best friend. You could try with lower level spells, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially if it's your first time. You want to kill him as quickly as possible. Second is 40 Prayer. Protect from missiles are super useful against Obor because he will not be able to deal damage from a distance. Also here it is possible to do it without 40 Prayer, but as a hardcore Iron Man I wouldn't take the risk to be honest. And then last but not least, 45 HP. And why is this? Because Obor has max hit with melee is 22 and this means that you can survive at least two times his max hit which makes it a lot more safe. And of course also this is a recommendation but I would go for it if I were you. So then it's time to look into our gear setup and obviously we're gonna kill him with magic so let's see what the best in slot magic gear is and to be honest that is not too great. It's only an attack bonus of plus 27. Uh, I will show you how to get all the items to get yourself the best magic gear. The first of the items is a wizard hat which is quite easy to obtain, um, then the Emmy of magic, also a blue wizard robe in a Zamorak monk bottom, uh, a fire staff, a regular cape, leather gloves and boots and optional is an anti-dragon shield. Uh, it doesn't give you a magic bonus but it will give you some defense but you don't really need it. The reason why I'm using anti-dragon shield is because it doesn't give any negative magic attack bonus and other shields sometimes do so that is why. And then let's talk about our inventory setup. Of course you're going to be needing a giant key to get access to the lair in the first place so get yourself a giant key. Uh, also bring an energy potion because we're going to be running a lot. It's not difficult to do but still bring an energy potion because it may save your life. Also runes to use your spells and also maybe a teleport in case you need to escape. And food. Um, sword vision and trophy pieces are going to be the best in slot for you in free to play. If you don't have this food then bring lower food it's gonna be fine but then still keep in mind his max hit is quite high even with protect range so yeah make sure you have good food to survive. So now that you know the recommended skills, gear and inventory items I want to talk about the actual fight. I'm gonna be showing you two different ways to kill him and the first one is the regular magic method and the second one is the snare method. The reason why I'm showing two methods is because many people like the snare method better than the regular method but I think that the snare method is kind of a waste so I want to show you the difference and why I think the regular method is better than using snare. Alright so get your stuff ready and then it's time to kill Obor. So remember that once you enter the lair your giant key will crumble to dust. So it means that if you leave the area now you'll have to get a new key again to kill Obor so keep that in mind. Now when you enter the room, make sure you have close to full run energy. Also set your quick prayers to protect from missiles and uh, make sure you turn on your prayer before you climb down the rocks because Ober will attack you immediately after you climb down. Now the idea is really simple how you kill Ober. You keep running back and forth from the west to the east wall and every time you run to a wall you'll be able to use two fire blasts to attack him. But every now and then Obor will deal some damage so that is when you eat and always prioritize eating over attacking. It is okay if the fight takes a little longer, just stay calm and keep doing your thing. 
It is also important that when you run, you spam click until you actually start running, because sometimes Obor smacks you against the wall and you'll be stunned for a second. So as you can see, this is pretty straightforward, you just have to run from wall to wall, keep hitting him, keep eating whenever you need to, and just repeat that same process. And the, the reason why I love this so much is because it's super simple, you don't have to worry about anything, uh, unlike the snare method, but I'll talk about the snare method later on. But if you keep doing this, then it shouldn't be a problem to kill Obor on your first try, guys. Alright, so let's see what drop I got during the guide, and as you can see it is Cosmic Runes, which is the worst drop that you can get, so that kind of sucks, but it is no problem guys, I can live with this. What I don't like about the snare method is that you don't always know when he breaks free from it and sometimes the spell fails or sometimes he's immune to it. So it's very unpredictable what is going to happen. Uh, also you have to run from corner to corner, it's going to be more difficult than the previous method. And yeah, you maybe save some food if you do it the right way, but it's a lot more difficult and you are using nature runes and especially as an Iron Man, nature runes are very, very useful uh, to use for other stuff than this. So I would say go for the first method, but if you really like the snare method, then you're always free to do so. Just test it yourself, what do you like the most, but I don't really like it. What I do want to show you though is that by using the snare method you apparently increase your chances of getting a good item because as you can see in this video it is unbelievable but yes I got myself a rune kite shield now I can already tell you that this is my third rune kite shield so for me it doesn't really matter too much but I've only killed 32 obors so uh, in only 32 kills 3 rune kite shields that is a little bit too crazy. Well then guys, there you have it, my free to play Obor guide for beginners. I hope you have the confidence now to kill him because don't worry, it is not too difficult. Just follow the steps and you will be good to go. If there are any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. If you want a guide about something else, feel free to ask because I would gladly make one. So, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.